Hey folks, Nathan here. In this video, we're going to learn about some of our advanced player screen features. So we have our player screen active already, as you can see in the bottom corner here. So we're just going to click here and show our player box so that we can see where we are. Now we want to go into live play and overlays. So this is going to give us some effects that we can put on top of our player screen. So the first one we have is a splash screen. So we can drag any content from this. For example, let's just grab um, from the wild. Let's just throw a box lid over, why not? And if we set it active, we can see that that box lid is now on top of our player screen, as you can see in the bottom corner here. But as a DM, it shows up partially transparent. Um, we can use this slider to adjust the transparency. And we can see how that affects it on the player screen. You can use this for things like overlays for your characters. So if you've got people sitting in certain locations, you can have your overlays. You can use it for a splash screen. So if you have like a campaign splash area that you want for like your intros as you're setting up the game, or if you have a transition scene between loading maps, then you can use a splash screen for that. We're going to disable that for now. And we're going to show off our filters. So now we have none, but we can select grayscale and that's going to set everything as grayscale on the player screen. We have sepia or sepia, if that's how you prefer to pronounce it. Underwater really accentuates the blues and gives a nice underwater effect. And night vision gives us all that nice only green sort of vibe. And as with our other splash, we can affect the filter strength. So if we only want it to like fade into gray, for example, we can do that. And those are some of our advanced player screen effects. Thanks for watching. Bye.